Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video we are going to discuss a very interesting topic which you are going to love. So this video is not an next video of our ongoing series which is Nuke 301 but while working on last video I had to export my mesh data and my camera data from Maya to Nuke and I chose .abc or alembic file. But while exporting, I faced a major problem. I thought you might face that problem. So I had to decide that should I make this video in between our ongoing series or not? And guess what? I decided to make that video. And I hope this video will help you to understand the basic process of exporting our mesh data or camera data or light data from Maya to Nuke in .abc format. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have my mesh data and in my mesh data, my robot.abc and robot1.abc, I have two files. So robot1.abc is not that file which I want and robot.abc file that I want to export, right? So let me straight let you know that what problem I am facing and how I overcome that problem, right? So if I am seeing robot1.abc which is not that file which I want. So if I am going to apply any texture like checkerboard and if I am going to connect it and as you can see over here, I'm not getting any kind of texture detail, but as I'm going to see my robot.abc and if I'm going to see, I am having my texture well distributed, right? And just to let you understand in a better way, if I want to apply my texture through my UV tile or through my UV unwrap, if I'm going to apply my texture with a UV tile, I am getting same result and if I am going to apply my texture through UV tile on robot1.abc, I am getting this result, a transparent result which I don't want, right? So it might possible you can face this problem. So let me take you through Maya and let you understand that why this problem is coming and how we can overcome this problem, right? Okay, so here I am inside Maya and I have my character setup over here. So what I have to do to export anything, I have to select my mesh or in, in this case, I, if I want to export my camera, I have to select my camera, which is this. And in over here in cache, if I'm going to export my uh, Alembic cache and export selection to Alembic. And if I'm going to save over here like robot underscore uh, YT, which is YouTube, and if I'm going to uh, export by doing nothing, what will happen? It will export. And if I'm going to come over in Nuke and if I'm going to import that thing like this, let me check and camera and robot. So what I'm getting, I'm getting camera and I'm getting robot or mesh, we can say, right? And if I'm going to apply my texture, the same problem is coming. I'm not getting any kind of texture, right? And if I'm going to apply through my UV tile, also I'm not getting that thing. So how we can solve this problem? Pretty basic and you have to understand this, right? So if I'm going to Maya once again, and this time I'm going to select my mesh and I'm going to select my camera, same way I'm going to cache, Alembic cache, and I'm going to select export selection to Alembic, and before exporting, I have to go down and I have to come to advanced options. And you have to keep it in mind that we have lots of options. So what you have to do, you have to select few options like renderable only and these options you have to select. I'm not going to name each and every one, but you have to keep it in mind. You don't have to select right UV sets and verbose and no normals. You don't need to select top two options and bottom one options. That's it. You have to keep it in mind. You have to do this. Otherwise, you will face this problem, which I had shown earlier, right? After doing that, you have to select this and probably I'll, I'll rename it like 
रोबोट वन अंडर स्को वाई टी समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड आई हैव टू एक्सपोर्ट सेलेक्शन इट विल टेक सम टाइम इट विल एक्सपोर्ट लेट्स जम्प टू न्यूक एंड सी वॉट्स हैपनिंग सो आई एम गोइंग टू न्यूक एंड आई एम गोइंग टू हिट आर ऑन की बोर्ड एंड दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट रोबोट वन वाई टी डॉट ए बी सी एंड हिट ओपन If you don't want to import camera, which because you already imported it, you have to deselect it. Just you have to select object and create all in one node. So same way, I am getting my mesh data. And if I am going to apply texture directly on my mesh, I am getting my texture pretty correctly. And also, if you want to apply your texture through UV tile, and if I am going to connect it. Also, I am getting my texture pretty nicely. Let's see the comparison. Over here, I am not getting my texture. Over here, I am getting my texture pretty fine. So, hope you understood that how you have to export correctly your mesh data from Maya to Nuke in .abc format. So, let me show you few more things. So, if I want to use this data. with my texture actual texture so what i have to do i have to connect this and if i am going to see through it i am getting my albedo texture or texture on my mesh but if i am going to do this i am not getting my texture properly right this is the way how you have to do it you have to keep it in mind and also to show you in a better way what i did i exported my light data in form of axis and what i did if i am going to connect my mesh in my scene with my camera and if i am going to see my mesh you can see or i have my light setup over here and if i am going to see my output i am getting this in fact i haven't used axis in a light i have used my axis data to set my light on a particular location if you want to see it if i am going to disconnect my axis you can easily see my light is at 0000 position but if i am going to connect my light with axis you can see my light is in a different position So it's pretty simple you have to select your light and you have to export it in abc as well and if you are going to call your light in nuke it will come as a axis so what you have to do you have to create a light and you have to connect your axis in lights axis input and it will automatically go the place where you have placed your light in maya so i hope this video will let you understand how is the correct way of exporting your mesh data or camera data or light data it, it will not applicable for camera and light but it will applicable for mesh data so i hope this video will help you to understand the process and if you think this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfxy signing off Have a good day.